In this video, I will talk about eye movements. Of course, you know eye movements look left, look right, up or down. These are called saccades. But besides these obvious eye movements that we need to orient ourselves, there are also very small saccades, which are called micro saccades. They are so tiny that you will not be able to see it when you look in somebody's eye. The eye seems to be stable, but in fact, the eye movements have a slight jerk-like behavior. They are almost like scanning back and forth, like a jittering movement. This is not a problem of the eye, but it's actually a critical mechanism so that we can see high resolution. Because by moving the eyes across the space, the brain becomes more sensitive and perceives objects more readily with more detail. It is believed that the mechanism is that these jerk-like movements resynchronize the brain and produce a more coordinated and synchronized visual processing and improve vision in this way. It's called cortical refreshment. But in patients they may be impaired because of problems with the eye muscles or because of tension of the eye and they are found in different diseases such as after stroke which affects the brain or the nerve like a disease called glaucoma, amblyopia or optic neuritis. Microsaccades, therefore, are an important element to guarantee good vision. If they are not functioning, then patients may end up with what is called foggy vision or an unclear image that doesn't seem to be quite right and which cannot be fixed by glasses or lenses. We know from research that one of the elements of the microsaccades is very critical, that is how both eyes move together in a synchronized way like a moving couple you know and if two people dance if one is out of tune you step each other on the feet so therefore we study in detail how microsaccades affect vision loss and how we can improve the microsaccades with particular eye movement exercises which leads me to the next topic eye yoga we use eye yoga as a means to relax the eye muscles and to strengthen the eye muscles. The eye movements, which are controlled by the muscles near the eye, have to be flexible, they have to respond to the nerve signals in order for both eyes to co be coordinated. And this is what the eye yoga can do for you. There are different parts of the eye yoga, which we teach our patients, such as palming. Palming means you rub your hands until you feel they are warm and then you place them on the eye which is kind of a relaxing feeling because the warmth is good and because it's dark the eyes can relax. Another way to help the eyes move better again is eye massage. It is essentially massaging different points around the eye and along the eye's rim so to relax the muscles around the eye and thus help the eye to be in a more conducive environment. And finally the most important part of eye yoga are the actual exercises, which means that you move the eyes to the right, to the left, or up and down, or you even try to do the convergence thing by looking at the top of your finger and converging the eyes so that to also exercise that particular movement. So in sum, microsaccades and eye movements are very important for healthy vision. Therefore, training eyes and their movements with a procedure like eye yoga helps you relax the eyes and improves their function. Thank you for your attention.